Today we're in downtown Toledo at the Toledo Jeep Fest, just outside of the main Jeep factory. Follow along and I'll show you not all Jeeps have seven slots and not all vertical. This is Jeeping Mo. So we got down here early, everybody just setting up. It's about 8 o'clock right now. I imagine here in a little bit, this place is just going to be packed. So you're in the downtown Toledo. So we're on the first day of the Toledo Jeep Fest. No one's even here yet. I imagine that the vendor show will be pretty cool tomorrow. There's the one I want to build right there, the old commando. With the jail interior. Very nice. Nice old Cherokee Chief. Definitely been fully restored. Pretty cool old Grand Wagoneer with the diesel. Old 47 CJ2A. Jeep's version of the luxury vehicle. It's a pretty fancy old Jeepster. This well love to find no commando like this. At first I thought this was Bleepin' Jeep's FC, but it wasn't. No fire truck. Fire truck Jeep. Pretty cool, it must have just been an old, just to pack supplies around. It's almost like a boxer style engine. There's quite a few vendors I recognize from the last couple shows. It looks like Easy Trunk here has a much bigger presence than they had. It had a much bigger presence with this Smoky Mountain. See Dennis from Terraflex here. There'll be a lot of a lot of big names here. Now this will be the first big show since uh, everything opened back up from the pandemic. Also, everybody's probably dying to get out. I near the Jeep vendor Midway. Checked out that new wagon here. That's pretty cool. Once again, everybody just getting set up, so this place ain't swamped yet. Pretty cool new Grand Wagoneer. It almost looks like a Suburban. That'd be a fun ride. Kind of like the black and gold. So they run the CV joints on these. To kick off the event, there was a big parade in downtown Toledo. And we're not going to see the whole thing. The parade was two hours long. 
There was a lot of cool Jeeps from all the different eras. And there was even the Quadratech JL YJ, or is it YJ JL? Leave me a comment, let me know which order it is, but here it is. But there's all kinds of different Jeeps. As we all know that everybody Jeeps for a different reason. And there was even a couple of impromptu stackings. And trust me, plenty of the old train horns. We had talked to several of the vendors in other videos, so we just got a lot of footage from the show. I think there was a, a lot of good people there, a lot of good vendors, so I hope you're enjoying it. Towards the riverfront area, they had a huge stage set up, beer gardens, all kinds of activities to do. The bands were playing all day. Then Dana had a really nice setup with like these Dana 60 axles and the, all the different Data 44s. We visited quite a few of the vendors. This guy had quite a few LED light conversions. And then you don't see many of these Levi Jeeps around anymore. A lot of those things have brought it, rotted out unless they were in other areas. And then we came across these old militaries, the old nine slots, which then they built a few of these. They were horizontal. And I was with Chris from sevenslots.com and he was telling me it was called the MUT. It was independent front suspension. It was unique military vehicle. They didn't make many of those. So then we headed down to the show and shine. Had some pretty cool old Jeeps in there. A lot of nice builds. Like the supercharger. Might have to look up some more information on that. So then two of the guys we met from the Jeep Talk Show Zoom Room, Chip and Chris, got a photo together. And then if you guys ever want to join us in there, go out to the Jeep Talk Show on Facebook and all the information to get into the Zoom Rooms in there. Every Thursday night, there's quite a few of us in there. We sit and talk about Jeeps and wheeling and that kind of thing. It's a pretty good time. You ought to join us. Check out the videos as we go. There was a lot of nice old Jeeps in there. Really enjoyed the Jeep Fest. I'm really hoping next year if we go up there to get to do the obstacle course on the Jeep property. So I hope you enjoyed this. Join us in some of our other shows and videos. I'll see you in those. This is Jeeping Moe.